Good morning, everyone, and welcome to St. Francis Xavier's Church. Uh, my name is Father Richard O'Dwyer. I'm a Jesuit priest working here in the parish and also superior of the Jesuit community. And our church here has stood for, uh, next year it'll be 190 years old. And uh, currently we're doing a major renovation of the church. I don't know if you can see up there, we, we first noticed this about five years ago where the, the paint was peeling off the upper walls of the church. And uh, so we had it investigated by architects and surveyors. And we discovered that uh, this church was built towards the end of the Georgian era in Dublin. And the basic issue with the walls is that at some stage, perhaps in the last 50 years or so, they were, re they were pointed in a cement-based mortar and it should, we've discovered since, it should have been a lime-based mortar. And it meant that really all of the outside walls will bring you up there at some point just to let you see what we've done. But all of the joints had to be removed, all of the mortar joints taken away and repointed with a lime-based mortar. And that will enable the wall to dry out because basically what has happened, the cement mortar trapped moisture in the walls and over the decades it just came in through the wall right into the interior face of the wall and that's what's causing the paint, as you can see, to peel off. It's also damaged some of the plaster. I think there was, some years ago, there was perhaps an attempt to uh, repair some of the plaster but because the basic problem was the dampness remained in the walls, it didn't really uh, have much effect. I just want to show you the actual repointing of the walls here. You see the wall is mainly uh, a kind of a rough stone and uh, the joints are quite large. And we've, we've replaced some stones that were badly damaged by, by weathering, uh, you know, where the, where the surface of the stone has, has cracked and broken away. But you can see they're quite a lar it's quite a large joint, and it's you can see it's a, you can see actually the type of uh, the type of mortar it is. It's a lime-based mortar, and that allows the whole wall just to when the wall gets wet, it releases the moisture again, and it literally it's like the wall is able to breathe and release the the moisture that was trapped. So it'll take about a year, maybe a year and a half until the walls fully dry out and they dry from the inside to the outside. And that's, that's even as we speak, that's going on because the, the mortar has been replaced, the cement mortar has been replaced by lime mortium. But it's, it's a very, it's quite a large job and it has taken several months to do this, but we've had generally dry weather and it has enabled the work to go ahead right throughout the winter with very little frost or anything like snow or frost so that's really made a big difference. We also discovered as you'll see uh, we've we've completely reslated the roof and put on felt and battens to hold the slates in place and again we discovered that when the roof was reslated a number of decades ago they used a steel nail to fix the slates and that has a life of maybe 40 years so now we've replaced all the slates because a number of them were badly damaged and weren't fit for reuse. But we'll, uh, we've replaced the slates and we've used a copper nail this time, which has a life of maybe 90 or 100 years. So it should, uh, the roof will stay in place for a very long time. And uh, we've also renovated the windows. The windows are a steel window, so they've been completely renovated, repainted and reglazed and cleaned. And you can see there's a lot of light coming in through the windows now. Before we render it, yeah. this is the reveal prepared for the render. This is all new timber here. That goes in, that we've, we've, we've reinforced the structure of the windows. Yeah, the top section is bottom hinged, isn't it? And the, that one is center pivot, yeah. and this that the bottom one is on a kind of a ratchet, isn't it? So for hopefully for we're going to eventually operate these with a kind of an electronic push button mechanism, an electric, an electric actuator, an actuator. 
that will allow us then for maybe from May to October to keep the windows open and allow again ventilation, ventilation to take place in the church which is very important in buildings of this of this age of this vintage. The other phases of the work will be re-roofing some copper roofs over Our Lady's the Sacred Heart and Our Lady Shrines. Are, you can see the beautiful plaster work, the beautiful domes here. And uh, that's all covered in uh, glass and copper. So again, the copper has reached the end of its life. So this is the copper roof over Our Lady Shrine. And again, all of the, the, the green copper work will be replaced. We'll, retain the glazing the, the glazing around the dome and it's really we're doing all this work uh, to ensure that uh, the church which has been here for almost 190 years and very much part of the fabric and history of the city of Dublin will continue uh, to serve and to be used by the people of Dublin for many decades to come. I'm sure you're aware that work like this renovation work particularly on a, on a an older building is very expensive, it's very labour intensive and uh, we're, we're, we're looking to raise some funding. Uh, we want to continue the work uh, and to get it all completed, perhaps by the summer of this year, the summer of 2022. But there's further work we need to do to improve our heating system to go green so that we're no longer dependent on gas or elect electricity, but we're going to use solar power and heat pumps to uh, heat the church. Uh, as you can see, it's a, it's a vast space, so we're going to put low level heating in that will basically be under the seats and just heat the people who are attending mass and other services in the church. So. If you could help us with donations, we'd be very grateful. Some people uh, have been very generous. Uh, one donor recently gave us 5,000, but she's not a wealthy person. But she, out of the generosity uh, of her heart, she was very kind. Another lady has given us also 5,000 in installments of 1,000 euros each. And this, uh, these donations make a huge difference uh, to our being able to undertake uh, the work that we're doing to conserve and preserve this beautiful uh, church building for the future generations.